This video will help to study the example on directional derivative. Let us consider one example. Suppose example is find the directional derivative of the function phi equal to e raised to 2x minus y minus z at point 1 1 1 in the direction of tangent to the curve x equal to e raised to minus t y equal to 2 sin t plus 1 and z equal to t minus cos t at t equal to 0. That means we have this scalar point function this phi equal to e raised to 2x minus y minus z at some point 1 1 1 and we have the direction is along the tangent to the curve given by this x y z. First write the formula to understand right directional derivative is equal to del phi dot a kappa that means we need to find out del phi and a kappa first i will find out del phi suppose given point function is phi equal to e raised to 2x minus y minus z next del phi equal to deba phi by deba x i bar plus deba phi by deba y j bar plus deba phi by deba z k bar this is the standard formula to calculate del phi that means we should differentiate the scalar point function with respect to x into i bar, the scalar point function with respect to y j bar, and the scalar point function with respect to z into k bar. Let's take the differentiation now. Del phi equal to e raised to 2x minus y minus z into 2 i bar plus e raised to 2x minus y minus z into minus 1 j bar plus e raised to 2x minus y minus z into minus 1 k bar. Next step is del phi at given point 1 1 1 that will be equal to 2 i bar minus j bar minus k bar. Suppose this is equation 1. In this stage we have substituted the values of x, y, z as 1 1 1 in the previous state. I have got here 2 i bar minus j bar minus k bar. This is what del phi. Now we are going to find out the a kappa. For direction, we have to find out the directional derivative along the tangent to this curve. That means first we need to make the equation of the curve. Suppose equation of the curve is given by r bar equal to x i bar plus y j bar plus z k bar. Now put the values of x y z as given in the example. So that will be r bar equal to e raised to minus t i bar plus 2 sin t plus 1 j bar plus t minus cos t into k bar. To find the direct tangent to this curve, we should simply differentiate the given curve with respect to t. From this, I will get the equation of the tangent to the curve. That is, suppose tangent is t bar equal to dr bar by dt that will be equal to minus e raised to minus t i bar plus 2 cos t j bar plus 1 my plus sin t into k bar. Put the point as t equal to 0. So t bar will be equal to minus i bar plus 2 j bar plus k bar. This is what tangent. For next step, I will find out t kappa as t bar by t that will be equal to minus i bar plus 2j bar plus k bar divided by under root 1 plus 4 plus 1 that is equal to minus i bar plus 2j bar plus k bar divided by root 6. This is what t kappa. Now, we can find out this directional derivative as suppose directional derivative along the tangent to the curve is given by del phi dot t kappa equal to 2 i bar minus j bar minus k bar dot minus i bar plus 2 j bar plus k bar divided by root 6. Simply take the dot product between two vectors that will be equal to del phi dot t kappa equal to 1 by root 6 as a constant in bracket minus 2 minus 2 minus 1. Dot product means simply multiply i component to i that is 2 into minus 1 minus 2 j to j minus 1 into 2 minus 2 and k to k minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 upon simplification i will get del phi dot 
8t kappa is equal to minus 5 by root 6. That means directional derivative is equal to minus 5 by root 6.